contend, Lord, with those who contend with me. Fight against those who fight against me. Take up shield and armor. Arise and come to my aid. Brandish spear and javelin against those who pursue me. Say to me, I am your salvation. May those who seek my life be disgraced and put to shame. May those who plot my ruin be turned back in dismay. May they be like chaff before the wind, with the angel of the Lord driving them away. May their path be dark and slippery, with the angel of the Lord pursuing them. Since they hid their net for me without cause and without cause dug a pit for me, may ruin overtake them by surprise. May the net they hid entangle them, may they fall into the pit, to their ruin. Then my soul will rejoice in the Lord and delight in his salvation. My whole being will exclaim, Who is like you, Lord? You rescue the poor from those too strong for them, the poor and needy from those who rob them. Ruthless witnesses come forward. They question me on things I know nothing about. They repay me evil for good and leave me like one bereaved. Yet when they were ill, I put on sackcloth and humbled myself with fasting. When my prayers returned to me unanswered, I went about mourning as though for my friend or brother. I bowed my head in grief as though weeping for my mother. But when I stumbled, they gathered in glee. Assailants gathered against me without my knowledge. They slandered me without ceasing. Like the ungodly they maliciously mocked. They gnashed their teeth at me. How long, Lord, will you look on? Rescue me from their ravages, my precious life from these lions. I will give you thanks in the great assembly. Among the throngs I will praise you. Do not let those gloat over me who are my enemies without cause. Do not let those who hate me without reason maliciously wink the eye. They do not speak peaceably, but devise false accusations against those who live quietly in the land. They sneer at me and say, Aha! Aha! With our own eyes we have seen it. Lord, you have seen this. Do not be silent. Do not be far from me, Lord. Awake and rise to my defense. Contend for me, my God and Lord. Vindicate me in your righteousness, Lord my God. Do not let them gloat over me. Do not let them think, aha, just what we wanted. Or say, we have swallowed him up. May all who gloat over my distress be put to shame and confusion. May all who exalt themselves over me be clothed with shame and disgrace. May those who delight in my vindication shout for joy and gladness. May they always say, the Lord be exalted, who delights in the well-being of his servant. My tongue will proclaim your righteousness, your praises all day long. Ask God to protect you, to shield you against your enemies. Always read Psalm 35, where David says, Lord, many are rising up against my life. Many are speaking ill of me. Lord, protect me. I believe that today is a day of spiritual protection for you and your home. No one will be able to rise against your life and prevail. If you are with God, you can be sure nothing will stop you. And if you, who are listening to this message today, remember that as it says in James chapter 3, the same spring cannot yield both fresh and bitter water. In the same way, from the mouth of God's servants cannot come both blessings and curses. Let's pray. Let's supplicate for God's protection. Close your eyes now and pray with me. Lord, I place myself before you at this moment, and I ask for your protection, my Father. How many at this moment have been troubled because of so many false accusations, lies that are rising against this life? How many people are suffering because they know that these words being raised against them are not true? I also ask for those whose eyes are closed. They keep criticizing, speaking ill, because they are spiritually blind. Do not allow these people to continue in error, my God. May you open the eyes of each person now. Your word says that you will defend your servants, my Father. I ask you, have mercy on those who criticize us and speak ill of us without knowing. We want to be under the blessing and protection of the Lord. 
That is why we ask you at this moment to help us fulfill and obey your word, because only then will we be under your protection. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I ask that you deliver us from evil. We are under your protection, and at this moment we rebuke all evil, every weapon forged against us. We praise you and thank you. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Thank God. Keep this promise in your heart and go in peace. God bless you.